welcome back to this channel in this video we are going to look at how to install kali linux in a vacuum box environment kali linux is one of the most popular operating system that is used among cyber security students ethical hackers and even hackers but before we install kali linux make sure that you have turned on virtualization to check if virtualization is turned on you'll have to press ctrl shift and escape and then from here you have under the the tab of performance so when you click on the tab of performance down here you'll find virtualization enabled so in the event that virtualization is not enabled turn on virtualization at system startup in the bios begin by going to your favorite browser and then here the first one which we are looking for is the oracle virtual box so i'll click on this one and then from here i can go to download and then I want to download VacuBox for Windows hosts. So I'll click on this one, and that's what I'm looking for. As VacuBox downloads, I'll go to the next tab and download and go to this link, kali.org. From here, I can go to get Kali, and then go to installer images. We are going to look at this installer, which is compatible for offline installation. Uh, I want this. So I'll click on this standard installer. So as this one downloads, we are going to go ahead and look for vacuum box and then we install it. We'll have this dialog box that says, welcome to Oracle vacuum box seven setup. And then I'll click on next. I will accept the terms in the license agreement and still click next. And then yes dependencies yes i'll click next and install oracle vacuum box and now here we come to this screen which says oracle vacuum box 7 installation is complete i'll click on next and start oracle vacuum box after the oracle vacuum box has finished the installation i'll go to the start menu and uh, start oracle vacuum box and click on and then we come to this inter interface to begin the installation of Kali Linux inside the vacuum box manager we can go here under machine and then click new or we can go to this icon and then click new and then I can name it as Kali and then the destination folder I just want to leave it to be stored under vacuum machine but if you have somewhere else you want to store it then you can make this change and the ISO image I don't want to mount it now and I can select the type as Linux and Debian 64 and click on next and then from here I can set the hardware the hardware memory I can give it the memory of um, 6 GB then the processor I can give it two processors and click on next and then I can create the vacuum disk I want to extend the disk size to about 60 GB 60 should be enough and then click next and then this is what we have as a summary then I'll click on finish and then from here i'll come back here to settings when the if you have many vacuum machines that are listed here make sure that you select the one you want to make changes and then go to settings and then from the settings here i would want to make some changes from the display this is what i'm looking for and the system the best memory is uh, 6 gb and then the processor is two two cores I'll go to system, I'll go to display by scrolling down and video memory, I would want to make it to the maximum. And when I come to the storage, I can come to the controller IDE and click on empty and make sure that I mount the disk image that I have just downloaded for Kali Linux. So I can go to queues a disk image and then I select where the image I was stored under downloads and click here and make sure that I mount it and those are the settings that I was looking for then I can click on OK then I come here and start Kali Linux and then you can see that Kali Linux starts to power up I can maximize the size and make sure that I choose the graphical installer and 
press enter on my keyboard. And then I am given to make a selection of my language. I'll go with English and click continue in the United States. And then it will load the controller components from the installation media. So here we come to this interface where you have to make a choice of your host name. The host name is a single word that identifies your system to the network. I just want to leave it Kali and click on continue. And the domain name, I just want to leave it blank and click on continue. I'll set up a user with the name Andrew and click on continue. And then I have to give a password for it. And then click on continue. I can choose the time. I just want to click on continue. I can work this out in uh, full screen. The installer can guide you through the partitioning of disks. I'll choose on guided, which is use the entire disk for disk partitioning and then click on continue and then click on continue. All files in one partition. Yes. Continue. I'm given the summary of my choices finish partitioning and write to disk. I'll click on continue since these are my choices that I have already made. Write the changes to the disk. I'll click on yes and click on continue. And now we arrive at a point where the core of our system has been already installed. And now we have to make a selection of the desktop environment that we may want. I'll go with the genome and leave X force and click on continue. And then, and then we reach at this point where we have to install the grab boot loader. And then I'll click on yes in order to install it and click on continue. We need to make the newly installed system bootable. So I'll click on installing the grab boot loader. I'll make the selection for the second choice and click on continue. And then we arrive at this point where the installation is complete. And then it says installation complete. So it's time to boot into your system. And then I'll click on continue so I can be able to boot into my new Kali Linux system. So my new system now boots. I'll press on enter on my PC and then here. And then here is my system. So, so my username now is already selected since it's the only one that I created. So I'll click on this and make sure that I enter in my password that I created. Now here is my new operating system, Kali Linux already installed in my vacuum box environment. I'll go to view so I can be able to see the full screen mode and then click on switch. So I can come here to look at the apps that are already installed. And then I can make a selection of what I want. I just want to go to the terminal. Now the first things after installing Kali Linux is to make sure that you update Kali Linux before you do anything else. And we are going to do that by entering in the command and then press enter. And then the update process will start very quickly. And then from here, we can wait a few minutes until then when the update finishes. Welcome back. And finally, the update process finishes. Now what we're going to do is to reboot the system. Sudo reboot. And I'll type in my password. I'll press enter. And then I have to enter my password again to be able to access the system. So after the restart process, so this is uh, our new interface. We already have a new background screen, which has been changed automatically, but I can still do that. Now, after the reboot process, open the terminal. I open the terminal and type in this command sudo apt install linux headers and press enter type in your password and then type in y to accept the installation process so that is it that's how you are able to install kali linux in a vacuum machine environment in case you have any questions please make sure that you put it in the comment section and i will be answering those questions See you in the next video. Thank you.